Leo the Lion. Hi, I'm Leo the Lion. Are you ready for a journey across the Serengeti Plains of Africa with my best friend, Zelda the Zebra? You are? Great! In this journey, you will learn about various ecological concepts, such as the characteristics of a savanna biome, interactions among species, competition, and the levels of a food web. Welcome to my home, the Serengeti Plains of Africa. The Serengeti is a tropical savanna. Tropical savannas are located 0 degrees to 30 degrees north and south of the equator. They have high and stable temperatures with high variation in precipitation. The savanna mainly consists of grasslands with scattered trees. The acacia tree is prominent in this biome. In order to maintain the grassy vegetation, the savanna must experience drought, grazing, and disturbances like fires. Zelda and I hate the fires, but we don't mind them if they keep our home functioning and beautiful. That's enough about my home. Let me show you how Zelda and I interact with other organisms in the savanna. Hi friends, it's Zelda the zebra. I love living in the savanna, except when ticks and parasites feed on me. This is an exploitation interaction because the ticks and parasites benefit, but I suffer. Parasites live on or in another organism, feeding on parts of it. Luckily, my friend, Ollie the ox decker, lands on me and eats the ticks and parasites. I'm so thankful for him and our relationship. This is a commensualism interaction because Ollie benefits while I am not affected. It's Leo again. Zelda the zebra did not want to tell you this, but she's also part of another exploitation interaction known as herbivory. Herbivory is where species such as zebras eat the tissue or internal fluids of living plants or algae. These species usually feed on many individual plants, but do not kill them. In this case, Zelda the zebra benefits and the plants suffer. My friend Annie the ant is part of a mutualism interaction with an acacia tree. The acacia tree provides shelter and food to Annie the ant while she protects the tree from herbivores like George the giraffe. In this case, both Annie the ant and the acacia tree benefit. I am happy Annie does this because I like the shade that the acacia tree provides for me. Now, it's time for you to learn more about me. I'm a predator. Predators kill and eat other organisms referred to as prey. Predation is an exploitation interaction where the predator benefits while the prey suffers. If I have a successful hunt, an antelope will die and I will have a delicious meal. More specifically, I'm an apex predator, which means that I do not have a natural predator or enemy. I prey on a variety of animals such as cape buffalo, wildebeest, zebras, not Zelda though, and antelopes. Unfortunately, I'm in competition for this prey. Competition is an interaction where both species negatively affect each other. Lions, like me, are a part of both intraspecific and interspecific competition. Intraspecific competition occurs between individuals of a single species. For example, my pride competes with other lion prides for prey. Interspecific competition is an interaction between two species in which each is harmed when they both use the same limiting resource. For example, I prey on antelopes, but so do hyenas, wild dogs, and cheetahs. Luckily, I prey on more than just antelopes. I actually prefer wildebeests. Lastly, I want to teach you about food webs in the savanna. A food web consists of producers, herbivores, carnivores, and detrivores. Organisms can be split into two categories, autotrophs and heterotrophs, like me. Autotrophs can fix carbon and produce their own food, while heterotrophs depend on others for food. Grasses and acacia trees are part of the first trophic level because they are autotrophs and primary producers. Zelda the zebra, giraffes, and baboons are part of the second trophic level because they are herbivores that consume autotrophs. Lions, like me, cheetahs, and hyenas are part of the third and higher trophic levels because they are carnivores that consume animals from the levels below. Detrivores, like dung beetles and termites, eat dead organic matter. I hope you enjoyed our adventure. Leo, Zelda, Ollie, Annie, and George are out. Bye!